Hi, this is Nick Haraz of Creative 111 here with Boris FX to give you some tips and tricks for working with Sapphire inside of DaVinci Resolve. We're gonna take a look at working with Esclo. And if you're in Resolve, you can head to your effects library and we can do a search here for S underscore glow. Under our filters, our open effects filters, we're gonna find S glow under the Sapphire lighting category. I'm gonna apply that onto my video one track for the time being. And on my video two track, I wanna disable the clip. So we can see that a glow automatically happens to our footage. If we wanna have access to the parameters of S glow, we select the clip and head to Resolves Inspector. The effect will be under the Open Effects tab. And the first thing I would encourage you to do is load one of several presets for S Glow. Here you can see a few stylistic ones, such as After a Glow. We then have cool things such as a dream sequence, low clouds, which adds a very popular parameter called Atmosphere to your clip, as well as several other stylistic looks. In this particular case, I'm gonna choose Phosphorant Fantasy, and I'm gonna load that directly inside of Resolve. Now, the most used parameters that I would encourage you to play with are located at the top of the effect, including threshold. If you grab onto it and bring it all the way down to zero, notice that more luminant pixels in your shot become affected. If you drag it to the opposite area, to the value of one, nothing is being affected by the glow right now. I'm gonna drag that closer to zero and then start to play around with the brightness of the glow. Notice that you can change the color and in the Resolve's color picker, of course, we can pick a screen color, which we can identify on screen, such as this light blue that's located at the top of the needle. Once I press OK, that's then applied. I can continue to play around with my brightness and threshold. Other controls to affect your glow include having it just go in one width direction, such as width Y, or bringing that all the way down so that you only have the glow isolated on the X side of things. You can also play around with the width of the glow's color, separating the red, green, and blue channels to get really cool stylistic looks. I'm gonna bring up my width Y, as well as bring down my width X for this particular example. Scrolling down, another cool thing to note is how we can combine the glow with our original image. First of all, you have control over a light background value, which is gonna bring in more of your background image. Also combined with certain blend modes, such as the ability to blend your glow in with a multiply look, a screen, and even an overlay. You can then, of course, play around with the light background and blend it in to taste. Also, don't forget that you can actually apply glows to titles in Resolve, but not directly. So let me just enable my title here on the V2 track. And the important thing to note right now is that my title has been placed into a compound clip and that compound clips composite mode has been set to add. As in titles in Resolve, when you place them in compound clips, will show up with black backgrounds. By switching it to add, we take out the black within our scene. What I'm gonna do is apply S Glow to the title. If I go over to the Open Effects tab under my inspector and scroll to the very top of the filters effects and start to increase the brightness, we can see here that the title starts to get obscured. There is a command at the very bottom of these controls referring to Glow Under Source. And if you drag this and scroll this up to the right, you'll notice that now the glow starts to go underneath the title. You'll get a certain amount where you'll have a great glow appearing behind your title that's com contained within a compound clip to make it easy for you to work with in Resolve. Last but not least, all glows in many cases can use a little bit of atmosphere. Atmosphere is a really cool parameter that you can add. And just to show this, I'm going to increase the atmosphere amplitude as well as the frequency so you can kind of see this sort of ingrained texture slash smoke inside your glow. Subtle values go a very long way. So I encourage you to, first of all, be able to see them, but then lower those values as well as play around with the speed to taste. Don't take my word for it. Download a free trial of Sapphire today by clicking the link above. Also follow Boris FX on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter to stay up to date with the latest information and training materials on Continuum, Sapphire, Mocha Pro, and all the Boris FX products. I'm Nick Karaz. Thanks for watching.